It's story time. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Linda, and today I'm going to tell you a story about how a mother teaches her children how to tell time. Time, as told by Mama. Many days ago, Mama decided that me, my name is Mickey, and my sister, Jenny, needed to learn about time. The first thing we needed to know is that time can only be told by learning our numbers. So we had to review our numbers to make sure we know them and how important they are in using them. Here we are looking at the numbers. These 10 numbers make up many more numbers when they are put together to tell how much about something we want to know. For instance, if we put things together, we can say how many things are together, such as the number one here is telling us there is one apple. Let's look at some other examples of how numbers tell us how many by counting. Two blueberries equals the number two. Three slices of watermelon equal the number three. One, two, three, four oranges equals the number four. There are five bananas that equals the number five. Count the strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six strawberries equals the number six. Cherries. Let's look at the cherries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven cherries and they equal the number seven. Let's look at the apricots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight apricots equals the number eight. And mangoes. Let's see how many mangoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equals the number nine. And lastly, we have some peaches. Let's see how many peaches we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equals the number ten. When numbers are put together, they grow in how much or how many. Looking at the numbers on the right, we can see that after number nine, the numbers become two numbers together until they get to 100. 100 becomes three numbers together. So now that we have reviewed our numbers, let's look at how they help tell time. Well then, how did people tell time a long time ago? The picture below is called a sundial. This sundial lays on the ground. When the sun comes up for the day, it will cast a shadow on the point on the dial that has numbers. Those numbers on the dial tell the time of day. As the sun moves in the sky, the shadow moves and tells the time again, casting a shadow on a number on that dial. After using the sundial for many years, a scientist who lived in the Netherlands, a country far away from America, where we live, made a clock 365 years ago. Today, clocks come in many shapes and sizes. This is a clock. 
It has numbers all around a big circle. It has lines around the circle and a number next to the longer lines. There is a center point on this clock. That center point holds hands. The hands on this clock are not the same length. The shorter one tells the hour, and the longer one tells the minutes. We will look at where the hour hand is at this point for now. The numbers tell the hour. The line tells the minutes. If you count the lines, there are 60 lines. This means there are 60 minutes on the clock. The numbers tell the hours. There are 12 hours. The clock says 7 o'clock. It is morning and time to wake up and get ready for your day. Today you will get up and have breakfast before you go to school or summer daycare. Look at the little hand now. It is pointing to 11 o'clock. It's now time for lunch if you are at daycare. If you are at home, you might have lunch at 12 o'clock. Look at the clock again. If you are at daycare, you are having fun with story time. The clock now says, one o'clock. It's almost time to go home. The little hand on the clock is now pointing to two o'clock. Time to go home if you are at daycare. At three o'clock when you get home, you might have a snack and go out to play in your yard with your neighborhood friends. Look at the clock. The little hand is now pointing to four o'clock. It is time to come inside and get cleaned up. Watch some cartoons and wait for Mama to call to help set the table for dinner. Maybe you can watch Mama cook and learn how she prepares your meal with love. Some family eat their dinner at five o'clock and some families eat their dinner at six o'clock. What time do you see on the clock? If you said five o'clock, you are right and you are learning to tell time. Sometimes daddy can make dinner and you can help too. After cleaning the dinner table and kitchen, you will start getting ready for the next day. Will you go to school or be at home? Now that it's six o'clock, it's time for you to get cleaned up too. You might take a bath can you do that all by yourself? Well, maybe, but if you need a little help from mama or daddy to set the water temperature just right for you, wait for their help. Now that you have finished your bath time, look at the clock. The longer hand has moved to four. That means 20 minutes have passed after 6 o'clock. Remember that each line is one minute. So if you count the lines, there are 20 lines when you get to the number 4. Now what do you think you need to do? Well, look at Tiny Rooster. What is he telling you? It's time to keep your teeth healthy before hopping in bed. Wow! 
the longer hand has moved and the short hand is now between the seven and eight. Remember that the longer hand tells the minutes and it is telling that 30 minutes have passed after seven o'clock. Now the time is 7.30 o'clock and time for you to go to bed. Maybe Mama or Daddy will come and read you a storybook to help you fall asleep. It is now 8 o'clock night time and you are asleep. Tomorrow will come soon so you can wake up and enjoy another day of play, learning, singing, and growing. Do you know that while you sleep, your body grows too? Boys and girls, now you know how important it is for you to know your numbers. And now you know how to tell time because you know your numbers. Mickey Mouse can help you wake up on time every morning. He rings the clock alarm at just the right time. And boys and girls, that's the end of our story for today.